somebody made a comment they didn't think I was actually making cinnamon rolls. Well, Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. There they are. I've cut them all up. Rolled the cinnamon and the butter and the sugar and the pecans. And they're getting ready to go into the oven. This plastic thing here is what I used to roll it out on. I don't actually use a roller. I do when I'm making fry bread or uh, pie or something, but for this I just uh, do it by hand. And I like putting a pecan, a whole pecan, on the top of each one. It's just how I roll, as in cinnamon roll, And came out even. That never happens. Hmm. The universe is playing with me. So these are going to rise for another 45 minutes or so until they about double in size before I stick them in the oven. So I'm going to check the temperature. Yeah, it's way hot. Turn it down a little. Stick them in there. And it'll be about uh, around 30 minutes. Set the timer for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes and counting. In 12 minutes, I'm going to turn them around in the oven because ovens are always hotter in the back than the front. Well, sorry I didn't video them coming out of the oven, but we were too anxious to eat some and, well, let's ask Lynn. Hey, Lynn! How are the cinnamon rolls? Oh, dang good. Yeah? Yeah. As good as my mother used to make? No. Oh, I'm sorry I she ask. She put frosting on them. No, I don't do frosting. Yeah, she did. I do butter after while I've eaten them. No. Oh, she made pecan rolls and those didn't have any frosting on them. And then when she made cinnamon rolls, they had frosting on them. Okay, okay, so I didn't make cinnamon rolls. I made, what'd you call them? Pecan rolls. Okay. Okay. You didn't put enough pecans in them. Yes, I did. I put in a whole cup when it said three quarters. And I put one, a whole one on, a half a whole. I know. On each one. I know. I got my one. Okay, bye. Bye. We're making an essential trip out of the house today because Lynn has an appointment to get her monthly meds from the IMSS, the Government Health Insurance Plan in Mexico. So how do you, how do you feel about wearing a mask? I feel like I want to hold up a drugstore or a bank or something. <laughs> drugstore or a bank. <laughs> I would have thought you'd have picked candy store. Me? Yeah. I don't like candy. For me? Wouldn't you do that for me? Candy store? Yeah. No. Uh. Last month, we didn't go to her appointment. We asked a friend to do it for us, and... We did that because the federal government of Mexico told us since we're over 60 years old, we weren't supposed to leave the house. Well, that worked out just fine, and the friend brought the meds to us.
called Chances. You're counting the smooth topies? Yes. Here we are at the IMSS clinic where Lynn gets her meds every month. She's over there waiting for her appointment while I'm going to go negotiate our entrance into the building. Necesito para medicina. Medicamento nomás? No más. Solo medicamentos. Ah, ah, ah. Ahorita, un momento. La once medic. Oh, look, they built a shade cover over there. They built a what? A cover over there for shade while you're waiting. Something is going to happen at this intersection that I didn't realize happened until I was editing this video. Look at the red light. We're running the red light. I wasn't watching the signal. I was watching the car ahead of me. He went and I went. Proves that sometimes, not as often as you would think, but sometimes, I'm a sheep just as much as anybody else. Well, that was Hokotepec. I like Hokotepec. It's a very nice uh, town. It's a little bigger than uh, Ahihik. It's uh, about the size of Chapala. But unlike uh, downtown Ahihik in the village, it's much more um, of a feeling of being in Mexico. And if your experience about Mexico or your opinion of Mexico is formed by you having flown into Puerto Vallarta or Cancun or Cabo San Lucas or having gotten off of a cruise ship and toured those touristy places, uh, it's nothing like that. Uh, the friendliness and the warmth of the people is genuine and uh, it's not uh, faked for the purpose of getting your tourist dollar. I like Hokotepec and one of the things that I hope you noticed is that the streets are smooth. In Ahihik we have cobblestone streets there are some cobblestone streets in Hokotepec as well, but most of them are, in the main part of the city, are smooth. <laughs> and uh, 
That's something that you can appreciate if you got an old van like mine. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching today. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.